So I'm gonna pipe in. Let's see. Let's start. Let's start at the bottom. We, we start. We left off there. So let's let's continue there. And uh, let's bring it back to mode one, since we know what uh, the default settings are. And we're gonna bring Big Crush to about the midway mark. I level up just a little bit. And the sample rate is at the maximum, so we should be hearing as dry a signal as we can right there. I'm going to level up just a little bit. Now let's see what happens when I manually adjust it. Okay, so that's the manual adjustment of the sample rate right there. Okay, so now when I pipe a waveform into the sample rate CV, we should hear something similar. Maybe not exactly similar, because that waveform won't correspond to my my hand movement, but let's hear what it, this sounds like. I'm going to pipe it in, and we heard no modulation there because our volume on the modulation is all the way down, so I'm going to bring it up a little bit. It's very, very subtle. Let's try bringing the frequency down a little bit. subtle right there happening because if I pull it out there's our sample rate sitting right there All right there we should get a little bit of modulation happening bringing the frequency down a little bit So we're not seeing as much movement as we did before, but that could possibly be the waveform that we chose. Um, I'm gonna actually skip the square wave and let's just jump to something that we did notice a considerable amount of modulation from earlier. So I'm gonna pipe into the sine wave. So right there, we definitely hear some modulation going on. There we are. If I bring it down a little bit, it should be a little more subtle. Again, that's not a mobile device, that's actually part of the song. When I composed it a while back, I don't know if you want the backstory, but there's a little bit of a, of a prank there I played on the listener. At any rate, not to distract you, we do have modulation happening from the sine wave going to sample rate CV and the level dial. There we go. Oh, that's a nice little modulation right there. bring it down a little bit if I want to. There we go. Alright, let's move on to the triangle wave. I'm going to unpatch that. And that's our basic sample rate setting right there. Let's try piping into triangle wave. Almost piped into the wrong port there. Okay, so here we go with a triangle wave. And this can be at a fairly low frequency, so here we go. There we go. Let's uh, actually bring our sample right down a little bit.
And right there, I just started my track over, in case you're wondering. Alright, so right now we have a triangle wave going into the sample rate CV. I'm going to manually adjust the bit crushing. Because I'm about to feed in a second modulation source. Okay, so now I'm going to take my A145 LFO and put it in the low position because now I'm going to use this as a modulation source to go into the bit crushing CV. So we're doing a triangle into a sample rate CV. So let's try something we haven't heard before, like an inverted saw. I want to go into our bit crush CV right there. Levels down, so we shouldn't hear that much of a radical change. Let me bring my frequency up a little bit. So now we have two modulation sources going into two modulation inputs, bit crushing CV1 and then sample rate CV1. And I can even bring up my level a little bit. At this point it's the season to taste moment where you just kind of adjust it until you like the frequency at which it's happening. Or if you really, really uh, are not feeling this particular setting, you could maybe flip into one of the other modes, like let's try number two, since it's right next door. And there we are getting a slightly different flavor. There we go. And let's try mode three. crushing down a little bit. So there we have some extended modulation capabilities of the Dofer A189-1 voltage control bit modifier. We have triangle wave going to sample rate CV, and we have inverted saw going to big question CV right there. Since we are approaching the end of this particular demonstration, um, I'm going to go a little bit crazy, and I'm going to take the inverted saw out, and I'm going to actually swap the waveform. So I'm going to go triangle into big crushing CV right there, and then we're going to go inverted saw into the sample rate CV. And we should hear something slightly different. Bring my level down a little bit, maybe bring my sample rate down even more. Adjust my bit crushing a little bit. Until I'm happy with the effect I'm getting, I can even maybe bring the frequency up a little bit of the modulation. Let me bring up the frequency of the other modulation going from my triangle wave to my bit crushing right there. So there we have yet a different flavor of the modulation happening right now. So we have inverted saw going to sample rate and we have triangle going to bit crushing CV. I'm going to try a different waveform, so I'm going to go over to the sine wave into the sample rate CV. I'm going to bring the level up a little bit. And maybe I'll even bring the frequency up a little bit. And so here I have my A147 feeding a triangle wave into bit crushing. I'm going to bring my level up there. Adjust my bit crushing just a little bit. Because I'm going to change the waveform. So I'm going to unpipe the triangle wave. And you can hear.
hear that that's just the straight foot crushing sound. I'm gonna pipe in a sine wave there too. See down on both. I can bring my level up. I can bring my bit crushing up a little bit. I can bring my sample rate up a little bit. So if I want more of a subtle change, I can do that. I can maybe even adjust the level of the modulation going in as well. There we go. So there you have it, some extended modulation capabilities of the Docker A189-1 voltage controlled fit modifier. Um, I hope you found this demonstration somewhat useful. Um, there are tons and tons of capabilities that you can come up with uh, yourself with different waveforms, uh, probably more than I demonstrated here, but this is just kind of a small sort of uh, showing of the modulation capabilities that I came up with on my particular audio source. But you could put any kind of signal into here that you wanted to, like you could put in a bass guitar there, or maybe just a drum machine, you want to pipe your drum machine in there. Um, your voice, you can pipe your voice in there. And you get just tons and tons and tons of different things coming out of it, as well as the 16 different modes, which we only actually played around with one or two different modes. But uh, you do have way, way, way more uh, chances to take advantage of these modes when you go into modulation. Um, so I'm going to wrap this particular section up right here. And in the next little segment, we are going to continue a little bit with the A189-1 voltage control bit modifier, but we're going to actually demonstrate uh, sort of an alternative use of this module as a uh, CV modifier.